Hello everybody, and welcome back. Now, I've been a bit hesitant to make this video, mainly just because I didn't want people ruining ranked with this, but after what happened a few days ago, I think I finally need to let you know. Finwick is absolutely busted. This is the most overpowered thing they've added to the game as of yet. This is even more powerful than anything allowed in ranked right now. Now, I bet you're wondering, what's so great about Fenwick? How is it the most broken thing they've added? When literally speed has showcased what we all thought was the best way to use it, which was as an armor break sweeper. And that's actually not the case at all, you see. Because Fenwick's true potential lies behind some of the most overpowered moves in the game that are very difficult to obtain. So going into the party here, we have my Finwick. This is holding used crayons, and it's got the normal ability. In fact, the ability you use on this thing, it doesn't even matter. You can use the hidden trait if you don't want to flinch while trying to hit this off. But I haven't explained what the strategy is, and when you see the moveset, you're going to understand it. Yeah, this is very, very broken. So what Intangible does is when you use the move, it makes you fun it makes you like invincible for the next turn. And what you can do is the turn after you use intangible, you'll be invincible, meaning you can set up a scapegoat. Now, I bet you're thinking, well shiny, why can't you just use intangible and then bar barrier up during a vulnerable turn to be invincible forever? That's actually not how it works. If you use Barb Barrier while you have Intangible up, it actually delays it one turn because the attack needs to actually land for the state of Intangible to change. And there's a very easy way to do that and it's actually having your scapegoat take the hit during your Intangible vulnerability turn. Barb Barrier is literally just on the moveset to stall turns to get health back from these crayons. Finwick can stall for basically 30 plus turns by doing this. Like, you can waste intangibles, you can win, and you can bar barrier every other turn, and there's nothing the opponent can do about it. There's very few answers to this thing. I'm pretty sure, like, the only things that can hit you are Zapparira's lightning kicks and helicopter kick, and a couple sound based moves like Hyper Voice, but apart from that, this Finwick is completely untouchable. Now, I bet you're wondering, what's the whole idea with stalling if you can't actually do any damage? Well, that's where this move comes in. If this is playtime's over, the signature move of Glove that gets a level 98 that Finwick can somehow get. This move can reach a whopping 200 base power after 20 turns of stalling. Yeah, that's nearly as much as Blow Up Blast. And this thing hits like an absolute truck once you have, once those 20 turns are up. I actually have a screenshot of me being one of the top ranked players from season zero with this Finwick, and basically all of PvP chat hit me for it. I managed to get the intangible off on turn one, and I stalled forever, and I basically followed him. Finwick killed four members of his team with playtime's over. And if you think I'm lying, I'm probably gonna do a showcase battle to show off what this thing actually does, because it's very broken. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what Finwick can do. And yeah, this is only gonna be one battle, mainly just because I don't really like using Finwick on the ladder. All right, so here we are, we're in the battle now. And whoever this person is, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but they have a Xenoxious, which I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not too sure why it's allowed in ranked. I'm not too sure why Wish allowed Xenoxious in ranked. It seems like an awful idea, but they have an Awakened Hypnotal, which means we we kind of have to lead with Glacer. In fact, they don't really have a good answer for Glacer, except for Xeno. But, yeah, the entire strategy is going to be getting the Finwick off. So, we get a good lead here into the Vault Hatter. We're actually faster than it, which means we can fire off a pretty strong Icy Slash. 
I kind of want to click Electra, predicting Skadeen, but that punishes... Yeah, actually, that punishes it if it's Hidden Trick. And I don't think he might not realize that he's faster. So I'm just going to click Icy Slash and hold back he stays in. And he loses more that to immediately. That is amazing. That is one less thing Fenwick has to worry about. I'm probably going to try and get it set up against, yeah, the Skidin here. Skidin is absolutely the thing to get Fenwick set up against. So I'm going to switch into my Squonk. And I'm going to try getting Vines up against his team. We probably won't, won't need it. Rust does absolutely nothing to us, even with a crit. And I can life sap for damage, or I can get fines up. And he could switch into his Zeno or Impera Flare. I think I'm just going to go for vines. He, he actually stays and goes for Snap Freeze, which is a lot of damage. But yeah, our vines here, which is really nice. And since he was actually faster than us, so Weg, I think I'm just going to life sap. We might be able to live another snap freeze, which we unfortunately don't. But what this means now is that we can go into Finwick because this thing can't hit us that hard, and we are going to pop the intangible. He does unfortunately have a resist for playtimes over, being the Calamander. But yeah, now that we've popped our intangible, all we do now is we bar barrier, scapegoat, and we keep alternating between the two. And this Skidin is not going to be able to hit us. Yep, so there's the bar barrier, and we're going to scapegoat this turn. And the Skidin is probably going to snap freeze, and we're going to see that Finwick does not take any damage while behind the scapegoat. Yep, intangible and the attack missed. And now we just bad barrier for some more recovery. Yeah, this is fun. This is real fun if you're the opponent here. Imagine running into this and not knowing what it is. Like, this is genuinely not even fair. The Skidina does reveal wave shot, which is a bit unfortunate because it means we lose mines. But unless he knows that the playtime's over is coming, uh, I don't think much of his team can really handle it, so I'm going to intangible this turn just to burn a turn without actually wasting moves. And the Skadeen didn't actually break our scapegoat, which is really nice. So that means we're actually intangible this turn. So I'm just going to pop another bad barrier to get some more healing back. Oh, so I just can't damage it anymore. <laughs> That's right, but I... Unfortunately for you, you cannot hurt Finwick. Yeah, um, Fenwick is kind of unfair, I think you can see now. Yep, intangible and the move missed, and we just burn a turn to not waste any playtimes over PP. I am glad Wish only gave playtimes over 5 PP, and the reason I'm glad about that is because if it had any more, Fenwick could probably just 6 or someone off of getting a single intangible. And you know, that wouldn't be very fair, would it? I'm gonna pop another intangible. Yeah, we're just using intangible to waste moves because I don't really want to waste PP on anything else. As he actually goes into the Calamand now. And he isn't the right ability on his Calamander. So. I think I'm just gonna Bar Barrier. What's the Calamander gonna go for? Calamander has Nutrient Drain. So, this thing probably walls us. It might have feast, but the good news is that we are faster because Calamander is a very slow doodle. It's setting up Enlightenment, which actually doesn't matter here because what you can do now is I'm going to Bad Barrier to start one more turn and I'm going to pop a Playtime's over, which is going to reset its stats and probably do some decent damage to it. Okay, he doesn't know the playtime time is coming. He's just psyched with enlightenment. So... Playtime's over. It is resisted, but let's see this damage. Pretty good on a Calamander, honestly. And we reset his buffs that he's gotten. Alright, enlightenment again. Is he used crowns is the question. Yes, he is. So... 
I unfortunately don't think I'm going to be able to break through this with Finwick because of the because of the Enlightenment. So I'm actually going to switch into my my Clanger tank here because I now realise that I can't hit this thing. Goes for the empty calories and it doesn't work obviously because we're metal type. So. Shatter is pretty free. It's only punished by this thing coming in, which I don't think it's going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click try slash, and this might just take out the. Oh, actually, never mind. And he doesn't realize that metal type. Yeah, this is uh, it's kind of what happened after season zero ended. The ranked ladder has just been full of new players. All right, what is it? King of Skill. Well, at least he's self-aware. At least he's self-aware of his Xenoxus. Um, I can go into my tattoo here. I actually no, I can't because he's got that stupid ability. I have to. I kinda have to sack something here. So. Yeah, this kinda sucks actually. So, I'm gonna bonk and hope to god I love this, which I guarantee you I won't. Oh, never mind, he actually doesn't have a Gather Strike. Yeah, this is the thing about bronzes. I was sacking there and he just, like, didn't have anything. But yeah, the Calamander is the big issue because Fenwick is not able to kill it. Fenwick's able to kill the rest of his team, but Calamander, it can't do anything against. So he's going to awaken his Immortal here, and if I had to guess, he's probably just going to go for the kill. And he actually fails. <laughs> he predicted, he over predicted the switch, but I am sacking this thing. I guess he predicted Voltatu coming in. But I am not going for tattoo on this thing. So he's probably just going to kill me. Yeah, there's the life sap. And I think now we just go into this and we threaten him with the quick sting. And he could go to em Empera Flame, which I'm not really too scared of. Actually, Icy Slash might be a bit better here. Only punished by Skadeen. I'm just going to quick sting. Yeah, and he goes into the Skadeen. That's fine with me, actually. But the thing about Skadeen is that Hattrick sort of loves fighting against Skadeen. Don't want to switch into it immediately, but he's probably going to use a move here. I'm going to go into Voltatu, and I'm going to hit and run. He snap freeze, he did. Okay, that's that's fine. So actually he could go hit Nottle here on the hit and run. Because I'm not staying in against this thing. Uh yeah, I'm gonna hit and run. As he stays with the Skadeen, which is actually not too bad. Go into hat tricks. And snap freeze does quite a bit of damage. He's a more offensive skinny by lots of things. But at the same time, we also don't get that really good bolt until we actually pop the Awakening. At this point, we have Spell Shield now, so we are going to be extremely difficult to kill. Snap is doing barely any damage to us. And I think with a, I think with one more Mind Empowerment, I can kill his entire team. Like, I don't think Embaraflim's going to be able to... Actually, Hypnotal might be able to kill us with Life Sap now. Yeah, this is going to be close. I don't think Hypnotal kills us, but it might. Like, we do have Spell Shield, but at the same time, Hypnotal has really high base magic attack. It's going to be close. But now that Skidin is taken out, we have a free Icy Slash we can click with the... The Glacier Gash, as he actually goes for Paraflame, and I'm just gonna psycho fast this because this is 100% gonna die. Yeah, and Paraflame does nothing for him now. 
goes back into the Calamander, which I'm just going to fireball. Oh, actually, this is just game, because even if the Hypnotal is able to kill us, we have Quick Sting with our Gleskash, which means this is game over. And we fireball just in case Hatrick somehow lives. Feral Fear, right? Yeah. I had a feeling that would happen, but doesn't matter, because we just go into this quick sting. And that is going to be the game. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the game right there. Unfortunately, Finwick couldn't do the whole team sweeping thing, but I'd rather have it just, like, be able to show off that. You can stall forever with it, pretty much. Like, if there's a way for Finwick to get some moves back, which... You know, it might be possible if you use Hot Beacon. You might be able to create an infinite battle, which is actually a really scary thought. I don't want to try. I don't want anyone trying that though, because I kind of feel like that would ruin ranked. It would completely ruin ranked. So, anyways, that is going to be it from me. Wish please nerf intangible, and see ya.